I believe honesty is the best policy by John Harbin. As a young child, I was known in my family as the biggest bullshitter in Texas. Pretty much any time I knew I was going to get in trouble, I would make up something to stay out of trouble. The funniest thing was that I usually got caught in most stories I came up with. One time, I went full out to cover up something. I had to learn the hard way that honesty is best. I was sent to my room for misbehaving and I was so upset that I kicked a pretty good sized hole in the bottom part of my wall. I knew I was going to get in trouble so I staged it like I had slipped and hit my head causing the hole in the wall. I bunched up the carpet to make it appear like I would slipped making a hole in the wall. Even though there was no way physically possible for me to fall and cause the hole with my head that was the way I told my story. My parents knew right away I was making up another lie just to get out of trouble. They punished me even more for lying to them, which was not a part of my plan. Another time, my sister came to visit during the summer for a month or so when I lived with my dad in Miami, Florida. My parents had always been very strict about never wasting any food. One time, when we ate lunch and my sister couldn't finish her sandwich, she wanted me to finish it for her. She was very nervous and scared about my dad getting on to her for wasting the uneaten food. So we decided to throw the leftover sandwich in the garbage, even though we particularly dug way down towards the bottom of the trash can. Our parents found the uneaten food and we got in trouble for it. In my later years, I lived with my dad in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania. My parents always made us eat food we didn't like. My brother and I always came up with ways to fix that problem. The number one food that we simply did not like at all was liver. When we knew we were having liver for dinner, we always got some extra napkins so we could sneak it into a napkin and dispose of it later. We could not put it in the trash because as we learned the hard way, they inspected. There was a very large study desk in my room that I used to store the liver until I could throw it away at a later time. My brother, Brian, sometimes hid the food in there as well. Years later, my stepmother Diane was looking for something in the large study desk. To her surprise, she came across a napkin that was fairly large and filled with large chunks of what appeared to be dried and aged meat. To this day, both of us blame the other and stick to the excuse that it was the other that was guilty of the offense. As I got older, I started realizing that being honest from the start always had a better outcome. I decided to join the United States Army and go serve my country. I left for Fort Sill, Oklahoma on August 29th, 1995. It seemed like an awesome decision as I was experiencing something new for the first time that was bigger than me. Even though I was excited, I was a little nervous about what I was truly about to face as I only heard stories from my brother. I endured a long 14 weeks of basic and advanced individual training. Up until I joined the Army, I always felt like I wasn't good enough. My life was somewhat incomplete, with a question of, where do I go from here? One of the most important things I learned in Army training was teamwork, honesty, determination, and dedication. In the beginning, I doubted myself. Instead of quitting, which was the easy way out, I decided to stick it out. This made me a stronger person by learning when things get hard, stick with it, and in the end result, it will be well worth the effort. My mom Chris has always been a role model for me. This was more so after joining the Army and learning the importance of completing what I started instead of quitting when things got too hard. My mother has always been a person of high integrity, which has also made her a well-liked person altogether. She understands me and has always been a solid support system in my life. 
the love and appreciation I have for my mother will always continue to make me a better person in the days to come. She has also shown me how to be a compassionate and loving father to my daughter. My mother has given me the best gift a son could ask for. After I got out of active duty, my family also took a self-help seminar where I also learned the importance of integrity and being accountable in my life. That self-help seminar helped create a new relationship between my father and me. At dinner here recently, I was with my family. My mother said that there was nothing that we could do or say that would ever make her love us any less. She would always support us, stand by our decisions, even though they might always be the right one. My mother has always helped me be accountable for the decisions I've made in my life, and that has made me a stronger person today. She kept me honest by always calling me on my bullshit. I am an honest man. This, I believe.